I was recently in Japan and I only had one free day. So I thought, is it possible to build a PC in a country where I don't speak the language, only using $350, all in one day? And I'm so glad I asked that question because I ended up finding the greatest store I have ever been to. Enjoy the video. I started by looking up the Craigslist equivalent of what exists here in Japan, which is a website called jmty.jp. I tried messaging on the site, but with the response times being fairly slow, it didn't really seem like a viable option. So I decided to look up some physical stores. While I don't want to buy new, the dollar is quite a bit stronger than the yen right now. So with the currency exchange, I might still be able to get a good deal. That on top of the fact that tourists can actually sometimes avoid paying tax on certain products if the store qualifies. And some stores do open box sales with returns from other customers, which technically makes it used. So I tried looking up stores in English and I didn't get the best results. I tried translating what I wanted into Japanese, but some of the translations weren't going through correctly, so I still got bad results. Finally, I resorted to Reddit where I found a seven year old thread that said, I'm in Tokyo, where should I buy my PC parts? To which some hero named Naro wrote an entire guide on stores to check and what area to go to. Long story short, an area called Akihabara seems to be the place where all of the hardware in Tokyo is sold. So that's where we're heading. 16 minute, 16 minute walk to the station? <laughs> it is getting darker and somehow it's getting hotter. Great cafe, Genshin Impact, and other anime I don't recognize. Yeah, this is the spot for the weebs and the gamers. Oh, oh there it is. Tsukumo, that's the store right there. All right, let's take a look inside. Oh, so downstairs the Razer store. I can't read. Okay, HDD, CPU, PC, PC. Maybe that says GPU. So it's an uh, graphics card. Five, five. Okay, I got the price this here. Oh wait, they have the thirteen nine hundred K is eighty thousand yen. Oh shit, it's still only five hundred and fifty two. That's not even a deal. That's like the same price as the states. Okay, here's a solid middle of the pack card. GTX thirty sixty thirty six thousand yen for me. 250 USD. This is not it. Let's see if they have any used, a used section. Hopefully that translates. Listen. We, we don't see a used part here. Oh, not here? Not here, another part. Oh, okay. Here? here. Okay, this is this where... Is, this is where we are now. Okay, okay. The, our group shop, the, where the shop is here, used part is here. Oh, is this on, on Google? Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Arigato. Your English is very good. <laughs> oh my god, I literally just had to ask. Let's just go to the used parts store. Oh, it's this thing, this thing, thing. Paso closes soon. Oh, close at 7.30. I have literally 15 minutes to get there. Oh, it's, okay. Dope, it's right around the corner. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Run. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we crossed two corners. And then we're pretty much right over there somewhere. Tsukumo Pasala. Oh, it's literally this. Okay, this one. This is it? There's just PCs here. Oh, wait. Yo, wait, this place is it. They have graphics cards. The price I pay. 14,300. That's less than 100 bucks, bro. This is it. This is it. Dude, is there like a $100 graphics card here? Just like a sleeper? Oh, GTX 1070. 12,500. 86 bucks. Okay, I'm pretty sure a 1070 and a 1660 Ti are like almost exact equivalents. Oh, okay. And these are the used mod boards. What do I get? What do we have here? Ryzen 5 3600 for 9,000 yen. That's so hard to say no to. That comes with the cooler, it looks like, because it's a full-size box. $55. Dude, I can't say no to that. Okay, it's just gotta be AM4. That's the only motherboard, this? No, this is the only thing. That's so painful. So 150 bucks for the CPU and the motherboard. That's not bad, though. Oh, well, they have other RAM sticks here. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Here for these are two eight gigabyte sticks. Sixteen gigabytes of RAM for it's like twelve dollars. That's almost a dollar per gig. That's insane. I'm pretty sure I see the case. Is this? No, this has got to be micro. Uh, Five thousand yen. Forty thirty-five dollars. Oh, it supports. Yeah, oh, it supports ATX. So I can buy this. Okay. Now we just need a power supply. Okay, we have almost everything for this computer. Holy sh. An NZXT C750 is, pff, okay, yeah, no. Why are all the power supplies so expensive? This is so bad. What time is it? The store closes in, okay, 30 minutes. Oh, I'm running out of time. Parts. Okay. Sumimasen. Hi, hi. Uh, kore. Uh, kore. Oh, here it is. 
これいやこれ Is this some um, tax free with passport? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I got the 45,000 yen. 45. Oh, dude, 310 for almost a computer. I just need a power supply, and I'm golden. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Arigato. All right, now I need to get a luggage so that I can carry this stuff out of here because without a luggage, I'm fucked. Two minutes. They're gonna close on me. Oh, here. Oh, this is so ugly. Like, um. Oh, Arigato. Please don't close. Please don't close. Come back. <laughs> Arigato. Konbawa. No camera angle does justice to how stupid I look right now. Arigato. All right. They literally stayed open. Late two extra minutes for me, which for those of you that have never been in Japan, you don't realize how big of a deal that is. So now we've spent $310. I am not counting the suitcase because it is not a part of the computer. And I was gonna buy an extra one to ship back other shit anyways. And now, I, I just need to get a power supply. Here we are at the bigger Tsukumo now. We're gonna try to get it here. Apparently the computer parts are down there. With my full bag of computer parts, I'll just go down there. Power supplies, power supplies. Oh, there's gotta be something here, come on. Second floor. Let's not look at that. Here are the power supplies. Okay, I'm thinking 600 watts. Honestly, I'll set up for 550. Okay, I'll walk around. Is this on sale? Wait, <laughs> wait a minute. I'm sorry, 6,000. I mean, I could. Not the worst price I've seen. Dude, I don't recognize half these That's things. Like We're looking at a four digit price range. Anything bigger is just a no. Okay, you know what? How much is the. <laughs> The RGB power supply, it's $44 for the RGB power supply. I mean, that's not completely off my radar. I mean, all this is, 550 is still more expensive. Is the RGB power supply unironically my only option? Oh, wait, that's 58, hold on. 5,800 yen, 550, 550 watts, 40 bucks. I, I think that's it. To be honest, 550 is pushing it. Oh, but I wanna get the, see, now I'm torn. Do I get the power supply with the RGB? Or the anime girl. So I'm gonna say, hi. It's not bad. 40 bucks. Nice. I got the. Ah, and with that, we have all the parts that we need to build this computer. These are my computer parts. You're not building that tonight, are you? N no. The rooms aren't very big, but it uh, doesn't matter. We got a computer to build. Okay. Progress so far. Now we just gotta throw it in the case. Hello. It's not the prettiest build on YouTube, but for three hundred dollars, that looks pretty f great. Moment well, truth. RGB is kind of nice. Oh, oh! It posted. Now that we know the parts work, and I didn't get ripped off, we just install Windows, and then we'll see how well it performs on certain games.
think the results speak for themselves. For $350, that computer's nuts. You can game, stream, and with that Ryzen 5 3600, you could start a content creation career if you really wanted to. I think the coolest thing above all is the US dollar being stronger than the yen, plus the tax-free passport thing creates some very cool opportunities when it comes to purchases for Americans. And to you watching this, if you are ever lucky enough to go to Japan, make sure you stop by that store. What I showed in this video does not even begin to cover the hidden gems that were in that store. I'll put the name on the screen right now so you can save it for later just in case you happen to have time. Anyways, I hope you found the video creative, entertaining, or informative in any way, shape, or form. And as always, before I wish you a good day, I started a custom mechanical keyboard company. I'm selling these beautiful keyboards right now on yeboards.com. These keyboards are unique and you're not gonna find them anywhere else because on these keyboards, we allow you to engrave whatever you want on the back plate. I'm serious whatever you want. I'm gonna release a full video that talks about the three year process that it took to make these things. But in the meantime, if you wanna get one before they go out of stock, because that's already happened twice now, thank you. Check it out and pick one up for yourself or one of your family members or friends. Have a great day. Do not like, do not comment, do not subscribe.